going on with this team right now? What the hell? What the hell was that? That's another team that's struggling at the bottom and we're being generous. What is going on? What is up, lads? It's CM9 here. Everton 3, Chelsea 1. What is going on with this team? I, I, I tell you, I tell you, there's one thing. One thing that I will say right off the bat. Lampard got it wrong today. Absolutely wrong. From start to finish. From minute 0 to minute 90, he got it wrong. Completely wrong. Everything is all on Lampard today. I, I, I don't know how... I don't know how we got so bad in that game. Honestly. First goal... As Poliquetta at left back, creating one hell of a gap for somebody to just cross the ball into the penalty box. Easy header in the in the fifth minute of the game. 1-0 Everton. And from then on, we're just we're just chasing the game. Chasing the game. First half was shambolic. I don't think I've ever seen a half played out so poorly in my life. And the reason for that is Lampard decided to. Let's just, let, and you know what, let's, let's, let's just bring out the team selection. Okay, so this is the team that played against Everton today. So it was pretty much the same against Aston Villa. It was Kepper in goal, Rhys James, Christensen, Zuma, Azpilicueta in the back line. Then we have Kante, Kovacic, Willian, Mason Mount, Pulisic, Abraham. 4-2-3-1. Okay, there are a few really bad points about this. First of all, why are we still not playing Jorginho? when we should be really playing him. Why are we still playing Christensen in defence? Why are we not playing Tomori? Why is Frank Lampard still being experimental when we shouldn't be? We shouldn't be doing that. He sh we should have done all of this back in August. Why is he suddenly playing Christensen and we're not playing Jorginho? We're not pl Okay, 4-2-3-1 is dead. This is the point I'm trying to make here. 4-2-3-1 is absolutely dead. We should not be playing this formation anymore, anymore because teams have already figured it out. We should go back to 4-3-3. We should allow Jorginho to play as the regista and let him be the utility. Defend- Oh my god, defending. I don't even know what to say about defending. Okay, first of all, Everton's first goal, Azpilicueta, was 100% at fault because he, he created a, a unanimous gap. A unanimous gap on the right-hand side Everton, I'm just going to go ahead and just exploit that right side. I'm going to cross the ball in. I'm going to let Richarlison just head the ball straight in without any any challenge. Because you know what? We're, we're, we're generous, Chelsea Football Club. We're very generous. Because when we see that there is a team at the bottom who have fans rebelling against them, all the rest of it, we, we like to be nice. We like to give them a victory. West Ham United coming to Stamford Bridge. Are oh, you not doing very well at the moment? Here's a win. Have a win. Man United. Every every fan at Man United is rebelling against United because they're poor under the Glazers. All right. Let's just give you a nice 4-0 win. Do you know what I mean? We are so generous. We are too soft. It's ridiculous. Okay. The reason for that first half just... Well, the first half was terrible. But the reason for that is because Everton just somehow were able to lock down areas on the pitch. Pretty much the exact same ordeal as the game against Man City, except this is an Everton side that is struggling. So in order to get a win, Everton need to press up. Everton need to not let us have the ball too often. Every time we get the ball, every time we pass, we get forced to pass the ball back again, as we've been doing in previous games. Everton completely exploiting that, pressing and pressing and pressing and not doing, not letting us do anything. Couldn't even get the ball up the pitch. Couldn't even get the ball up the, to the attack to get a goal. And then, and when we did get a, when we did get a chance to get up front and goal, Pulisic couldn't even do jack shit on the ball. Couldn't even cross the ball in. Abraham just didn't get the service. Willian, time after time after time, just did absolutely nothing with the ball. Did, couldn't pass to save his life. The only good player on the pitch, and that's I'm I stress to you now. It's not saying much, but the best player on the pitch today was Kovacic, without a shadow of doubt. Kovacic. Honestly, we need to clone Kovacic. We need to clone him 10 more times and have them play in the next game. Maybe we might get a win. Do you know what I mean? Why, like I said, why was Christensen starting? Why Why didn't Tomori start? Well, we know that, you know, maybe... Okay, let's be honest, let's be true, let's be true to our, my word here. Our defence was poor. Absolutely. I don't think I've ever seen our defence play so poorly in my life. And let me get to the second goal. In the, in the second half, because 
before we start with before we start talking about that, I want I want to make a point here. Lampard at half time should have made changes. He should have reverted to what I was talking about earlier about that 4-3-3 putting Jorginho on for Mason Mount because Mason Mount was absolutely dreadful. I'll get to him in a moment. But Jorginho needed to start at half time. Lampard needed to revert to 4-3-3 to give us more options up front. But he didn't do that. We had to wait until what? The 71st minute for Lampard to make a change at 2-1. And speaking of the second goal for, by Everton, I, I, I have no words to describe how poor our defence was. Like, what the hell was that? What what was what was that? I, I, I can't describe it. That was literally the... Wo- I, I tell you what, we've had some bad moments in our, in our back line. And I tell you what, our defence our defense has been poor. But that, that was literally the cherry on top of a shit cake. I'm not joking. Like, what were they even doing? They just literally just, oh, I don't know what to do with the ball. Oh, you have the ball. Oh, you have the ball. Oh, yeah. Calvert-Lewin gets the ball straight in, gets the goal. What are you doing? What? What is, what are you doing? You've literally got no brain cells between you. And we've we still got Rudiger. So when is he coming back? Honestly, I, I swear to God, we are so lucky to have this transfer ban lifted. Because if we didn't have this transfer ban lifted, we, 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 we'd be screwed. We'd be absolutely screwed. If we continue on with this team right now, the fact that Eunice made a good point in a, in a few videos ago on, on his channel. This team is growing tired. Very, very tired physically and mentally. And if we, we weren't able to get this transfer ban lifted and we would have the, we'd still have these players available and we'd have to rotate, rotate, rotate. And I think that's what Lampard's trying to do with these guys, Christensen, and not having Jorginho on the pitch. We, we'd be screwed. If we go into this game against Lille playing like that, we will not get the result we need. I'm telling you that now. We will get screwed against Lille playing like that. We, we, won't, we won't get that win we need. In the Champions League. Absolutely not. I, I, I can't even begin to tell you how frustrated I feel right now. I'm not even joking. But anyway, let's just move on. Kovacic. Fantastic goal. To get us back in the game at least. He was the best player on the pitch by far. But, but that's not saying much though. But Kovacic was the best player. Because he because there was one point in the first half where he actually bulldozed through about four or five people to keep the ball. And that was just a little bit of... I said it on Twitter. It was a little glimmer of grit that we still had. In this Chelsea team in this after this afternoon. And then then the icing on the cake, right at the end of the game. <sighs> Kepa, what are you doing throwing the ball out like that? What are you doing? Why are you just directly just throwing the ball out to an Everton player? And I'll tell you why that was frustrating. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you that why that was so easy for Everton to score that. Because prior to that, Lampard decided, he decided that he was gonna go with two strikers up front, Abraham and Batshuayi. I thought to myself, Okay, yeah, he's got a little bit of balls doing this because, you know, we're 2-1 down. We're chasing the game. The only thing we need to do is go all for it, you know, get Abraham on, get Batshuayi on. We need two strikers up front. But we all forget, we all forget don't we, how bad we are at the back. And the fact is, we've only got like three guys. We've got Zuma, Christensen and, and Azpilicueta just trying to fend for ourselves at the back. Kepa throwing the ball out. And then... Oh my god, this is a defensive scramble, and then they just... Calvert-Lewin gets his second goal of the game, just... Because we're so poor in defence! Like, what is this team? I, I don't get it! Like, Everton, all game, just consistently pressed us throughout the entire 90 minutes, and we couldn't deal with it. We could not deal with it. And what else have we got to do? Like, pass the ball back. All the time, passing the ball back. Everton only had like 29% possession. We had most of the ball, but we had no, we didn't know what to do with it half the time. The only thing we could do is pass it back because of the high pressure that Everton were giving us. Like, <sighs> Lampard got it wrong today. Absolutely wrong. 100%. He got tactically outplayed. All of the tactics that he did, the timing of the substitutions, the failure of changing it up when we needed to, completely wrong. Bringing Batshuayi on for Reese James when we have a poor defence anyway, just fending for themselves, is completely wrong. It's all on Lampard today. The players just didn't do anything today. All on Lampard, didn't change it up, didn't make the right substitutions. And this is against what? A team that have their own fans rebelling against them. The same team that got done by Liverpool 5-2 at Anfield. The same team that had Marco Silva sacked and then have Big Dunk replace him as their manager. Is this who we're losing against? Is this what we're getting tactically outdone against? It's not good enough, it's poor, it's stupid, it's wrong. I don't know what it is. Lampard needs to sort it out. If we play like that against Lille, we will get done. And what, we're, 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 poor, we're poor at Stamford Bridge anyway, so what? 
It hangs in the balance in the Champions League. It hangs in the balance. I have no faith, right, whatsoever, unless Lampard can change it up, unless Lampard knows that this is the right time to change things now, not not next not next game, not next, we have to change it now. I tell you, we have to buy players next in January. We absolutely have to. It is an absolute, it is an imperative that we get this transfer ban lifted. Absolutely imperative. Because had this transfer ban not been lifted and we still had it hanging over us in January and we weren't able to buy, we'd be absolutely screwed. Absolutely screwed. Tactically, and, and, and mentally and physically, we don't have the right amount of players. We don't have the right rotation. We don't have the right formation. 4-2-3-1, stop using that. It's dead. It's completely dead. Stop using it. Go back to 4-3-3 and start playing Jorginho. And make him the register. And make him the option. And make him the utility. And make those balls into the penalty box. Because players like Tammy Abraham today just couldn't get into the game. That he, did, he just did not get the service. You've got guys like Willian and Pulisic try, trying to do their bit. On the wings, they can't do it because they're getting they're getting muscled off the ball by, by Everton players. It's not good enough. Three one is not good enough. I'm sorry, it's not. Let me know what you guys think in the in the comment section down below. This has been a really really heated video, really heated video, a bit of a rant to be honest with you because I this can't this can't continue. This absolutely cannot continue. I am livid. I'm cross. I'm angry. Not good enough. Thank you very much for watching this video. Check out all of my social media links in the description down below. Check out my gaming channel, Chris Marta Games. And yeah, I'll be uh, back with you again for another video. Uh, I don't know which. I don't know when it's going to be. It's probably going to be uh, Lille uh, in midweek Champions League. I, I have no faith. I've got no faith, guys. Unless Lampard can change it up. Unless he does the right thing. Unless he can stop being experimental with the players. Unless he actually starts playing players on merit. Like he's been doing in previous games. What, what happened to that? What happened to playing players on merit? I, I, know, I understand the players are tired. I understand we need to start buying in January. But we need to start playing more players on merit. Players like Christensen, Zuma, just lack of communication. Rudiger's back fit now. We need to start playing him. 100%. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I'm off to lie down. Until the next video, I shall see you later. Hey, door. And peace.